CoQ10, a vital supplement for heart health, but there's more to the story. Hi, I'm Dr. James Machino. You know, CoQ10 supplementation is, is proven to be vital for heart health after the age of 45 in particular. The body, you know, makes CoQ10, but by age 45, you're making much less. In fact, you, st you start making less even after age 25, but by age 45, there's a significant drop-off. And CoQ10 is needed for cells to convert food into energy, and the heart really relies on CoQ10 to make energy. So as your CoQ10 levels drop and you run into sort of a marginal deficiency, it can lead to congestive heart failure where the heart pump starts to get weaker. It can also lead to high blood pressure. It can increase the risk for atrial arrhythmias. And when you have an arrhythmia, then there's a greater risk that you'll form uh, an embolism that will lodge in your brain or in your lung, and it can be very serious. So supplementation with CoQ10 has been proven to help Im improve the management of congestive heart failure high blood pressure, and even atrial arrhythmia. We have human clinical studies to show the effect of CoQ10 there. So, but don't wait for problems to begin. You should be proactive and start taking a CoQ10 supplement by age 45 to help prevent these problems. Now here's the kicker that most people don't know. The CoQ10 works best in conjunction with the herb known as hawthorn. You see, the leaf and the berries from the hawthorn plant have these very unique flavonoids and these flavonoids in the body also help to convert food into energy in sort of a different area in biochemistry than CoQ10 works. So CoQ10 and Hawthorne work together to optimize energy production in the cells of the body, particularly in heart cells. So Hawthorne supplementation has also been shown to not only improve uh, congestive heart failure and high blood pressure, but also opens up the blood vessels of the coronary arteries so you get more blood to the heart muscle, helping to reduce risk of heart attack. And it's had a lot of application over the years for different cardiovascular problems. The best practice, in my view, is to take a supplement that contains both CoQ10 and Hawthorne. The, the, the rule of thumb is for every 30 milligrams of CoQ10, there should be about 37.5 milligrams of Hawthorne. But the Hawthorne has to be standardized to 5% flavonoid content. Those are the medicinal ingredients. So the combo is a, is a big step in the prevention of, a, you know, the kind of decline in heart health that normally occurs after the age of 45. So when you take CoQ10 and Hawthorne together, you're helping to decrease the likelihood that your heart pump will become weaker less of a chance that you're going to develop congestive heart failure and coronary artery disease and high blood pressure and even atrial arrhythmia problems. So CoQ10 is fine on its own, but the addition of Hawthorne is really the gold standard application. So to understand all of this and how CoQ10 and Hawthorne really impact heart health and cardiovascular health, click on the link below, read my article. It's called Dietary Supplements for High Blood Pressure and Heart Disease Prevention. All the scientific references are there, so you'll see that it sounds scientific information for you. Now remember that at MachinoHealth.com, you'll see my other research review papers. You'll see footage from my live seminars, and other downloads and uh, resources I've created. They're all there for free to help you lead a long, healthy, functional life. All my review papers and teaching materials are complete with all the scientific references. So you'll know that for me, you're only getting evidence-based information on any health topic that you're looking for. So you really should make MachinoHealth.com an ongoing, reliable resource of health and wellness information for both you and your family members. Thanks so much for watching.